Jeff Isaac, the lawyer in blue jeans, joins us again today, and we have, as usual, another interesting question. Let's take a look. I purchased a new car three months ago. I have had nothing but problems, and it has been in the shop four times. Wow, in three months. I feel that I bought a lemon. <coughs> Does California have a lemon law that protects me? This is from Sarah in San Diego. A lemon. It's not just growing on trees here in California. Yes, we do have a lemon law. And it's interesting that, that in this, this particular question, uh, the individual brought it in four times because that's the magic number. You have to actually, number one, it has to be under warranty. I suspect, according to the email, it was. So it's under warranty. You have to have it at least four or more times to an authorized dealer, not just any Tom you right, know, right. Schmo out there. You've got to bring it into a, a dealer. Um, it has to be a total of 30 days inoperable. It doesn't have to be successive. It can be, it can be off and on, but it, it, that's part of the law. You have to have 30 days of it being inoperable. Over, but over what stretch then? Because 30 days without your car seems really unreasonable to me. Well, it's a long time, but that's yeah. what you're doing is you're asking for your money back, you see. I mean, that, so for you to qualify under the Lemon Law, you have to have it, like I say, in four times to an authorized dealer and a, a total of 30 days that they're messing around with it. And the, the key here, Jim, is that it has to be substantially impair the use or the value. So these are kind of arbitrary kinds of deals. But when you get a car and it's not doing its job and it's a brand new car and you meet this criteria, this particular person that emailed us can probably get their money back. And the way you do that is you write a letter to the manufacturer and say, here's the deal, here's the records that I've kept, and uh, I want my money back and interest and down payment and tax and everything paid. And uh, if they don't do it, then you've got a lawsuit or you can arbitrate. What's the entire stretch of time then? If I get, a, I mean, because again, the 30 days sounds really unreasonable to me, but over what period of time? Can this nightmare go on for two years and then I have to add it up to 30 days during that time I didn't have it? Well, during the, the period of the warranty, it starts actually day one and then, uh, you know, you, it has to be through the warranty period. So normally warranties are what, uh, 36 what? months or something like that? I was going to say like, like three that. years, something yeah, like that. Yeah, so yes, yeah, so it can't be, you know, there are different rules rules for used cars, but, but for the normal lemon law in California, and we're one of the leading states. Consumer law in California is usually one of the best sets of laws that we have in the whole country. So we're pretty lenient for consumers when it comes down to, to this kind of stuff. Does it matter what causes it to go in the shop? Say the car still runs, everything's functional, but it has to go in to get a lock fix, then the mirror needs to be, you know what I'm saying? Something. That's where substantial comes in. Okay. You know, that's why the law kicks in there. But the bottom line is if you get in a car accident or it's your fault, no, sure. yeah, it does matter and you're not going to get your money back. So it's got to be a manufacturer defect that's reasonable. Something to keep in mind though. Just because, because, it's, it's just because you gift. bought it doesn't mean you bought it, so to speak. You got it. Yeah. All right, <laughs> Jeff. Thank you again. You're welcome. And uh, if you'd like to send us a uh, note, it's lawyerinbluejeans at gmail.com. Still ahead, 